Hello guys, what is up? In this video, we are going to show you how to stream games on Kick. Now, there are a few things we need to do and have to stream games on Kick. So as you can see here, we are on kick.com. So make sure that you are signed in just like what I am right now. Another thing you need to have is this. You need to have OBS or Streamlabs so that you can actually stream your games. And we are going to go through the rundown on how to set up your OBS. So another thing you want to know is just go to OBS Studio and just, you know, click on download. Whether you're a Mac, Windows or Linux user, you can just download it from here. It's a very straightforward process. And after that, again, make sure that you're logged in, that you're, you know, you already have a kick, um, <clears throat> a kick account and you're signed in. So once you have this, you, you already have kick, you already downloaded OBS. And of course you need to have, let's go to OBS and let's just our display capture, go to properties and make sure that you have, as you can see, a game that you are going to play on stream. And as you can see, we have Wuthering Waves in here right now. So this is the game that we are going to supposed to be stream. Again, this is on my second monitor. And again, we're gonna pause that and make sure that, you know, we go back to our own screen, right? So how do we stream on Kick? So there are a few things you need to do. Uh, here on OBS, you need a scene. You only need the one scene right now if you're starting out. And in that one scene, under sources, you need three very important things. One is display capture so that you can see your game, right? So that you can see your game. Number two is your audio output capture, which is so that you can hear. As you can see, you can hear the back, uh, a tiny bit of background music because I've lowered the volume. And you can hear the gameplay, right? So that so this can be your your headphones, your speakers, whatever. Make sure you 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 select the right one. So to do that, just right click on this, and you're gonna have a pop up. Click on properties, and just if it's by default, great. If you have headphones, uh, then do so, right? And the last one that you need to um, you need to have is your audio input capture, which is as you can see here, it is working. This is your microphone. You need your microphone because nobody's going to watch a stream that nobody's talking in, right? So again, right click properties. You need to have the right microphone, the one that's plugged into your computer, because if you don't, it, it's not going to work. And the, to test if your mic is working, if you have the right mic, you're going to see this. It, it's working. As you can see, it's, it's you know, registering my voice. So after that's done, uh, you are one step closer. So what do we need to do next? We, what we need is to click on settings and here a pop up will appear. Now, there are a few things we need to go over. The first one is stream. Second one is output. And the third one is audio. And the last one is video. So we're going to start with video. We're going to go down up <clears throat> here. You need to have the right uh, base resolution. Uh, standard is 1920 by 1080, which is 16 by 9. Your output or scale resolution should be the same aspect ratio and as you can see here my downscale filter is not required because they have the same aspect ratio but if your monitor of your pc can't have it maybe 1280 by 720 and you'll be downscaled to that uh at worst after that what you need to do is make sure that your common fps values is at 60 so that's the standard 60. if you have a budget pc maybe 30 but nothing less than that right because if you can't at 30 fps your pc is not good for streaming I, and i'm sorry I, I that sounds mean or rude but that's just the truth after your audio after your video is set up we need to go to the audio now in audio you only need to look at the global audio devices now here it's going to be the same as your <clears throat> as your sources here your audio and uh, your audio input audio output capture uh <clears throat> there are only two slots here that you need to have the desktop audio which is again the audio from your game and your mic slash auxiliary audio this is your microphone again like what i said these this needs to be the same as your sources your headphones or whatever and your mic whatever mic you're using and the other the rest of it should be disabled you don't want it to enable anything else because you don't want your audio to be scuffed now once that is done you go to your output and your output 
there's going to be four tabs here. There's going to be streaming, recording, audio, and replay buffer. You don't want to look at these other three. You only need to look at streaming. And this is going to be your setup. You're going to have your audio encoder at FFmpeg AAC. Your video encoder should be in your NVIDIA, your graphics card. If you don't have a graphics card, if you have an integrated graphics, like, you know, those, those AMD Ryzen graphics cards, then X.264 should be it. But most, if not all people, have their NVIDIA graphics card. So NVIDIA and H.264 or the new one. Both can work, right? And then in encoder settings, you need your rate control. Should be CBR. This is a must. Your bit rate should be at least 6,000 kbps because that's what works on Twitch. That's the sweet spot. Kick is, you know, pretty much copy Twitch. So 6,000 should be it. Your preset should be slow or good quality. Keyframe should be zero. You can work with two. Tuning should be high quality. Multi-pass mode should be two passes, quarter resolution. Profile should be high. Make sure that your cycle visual tuning is enabled. GPU is zero, two can work, and your max B-frame sh should be two. Now, after that, this is the important part <laughs> because if you don't do this right, you know, you, you won't be able to stream and kick. So service, if you click on this, a drop that will, a drop that will appear and you're going to have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Restream, Twitter, so on and so forth. There's no, there's no kick, right? Because you need custom. So in custom, uh, you will need the server URL and the stream key. So how do you get that? You get that by going to your kick. And again, you should be logged in to do this. Click on the upper right corner, your profile and go to settings In settings on the left, left hand side. You're going to see this, your settings, profile, stream key, security notifications. You want to click on stream key. And here you're going to have your stream URL and your stream key. So with the stream URL, just click on this. So it's going to be copied to your clipboard and then go back to your OBS and just paste it in the server like this. And when it comes to your stream key, just again, copy, copy the clipboard, go back to OBS, delete that and just paste the new one and then click apply, click OK. Now that's done, right? Now that is done. You're done, right? You have this here, go to your stream, you know, Go to click edit info, edit your title, your category, your language. If it's mature or, you know, PG, click save. Your stream is good to go. All you need to do so that you can stream for this example, Wuthering Waves, right? All you need to do is click here on start streaming and you will be streaming your game. So. That's pretty much it. That's the video. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bring that bell icon. We'll see you on the next one.